guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to be using this beautiful palette here from BH Cosmetics. It's from their Sweet Shop collection, and this one is the Cotton Candy Eyeshadow Palette. So yeah, before I go in, I'm going to prep my lids with my P. Louise base. But the first shadow that I'm using today is Light and Airy, and this is a really beautiful purple matte shade. It's kind of like more of a red tone purple in the palette. Very, very pretty. As you can see, I'm just using a fluffy brush to concentrate that in my crease and just blow it out in the outer corner. And this is basically the shape that I'm starting out with today. Next, I'm going into this really light shade confection. Very, very light lavender type shade. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that or if it was gonna show up, but as you can see, it is very bold. <laughs> very bright and very light so if you like that color it will definitely show up next I'm going into the beautiful pink matte shade it's called carnival and I really wanted that just in the inner corner so as you can see I'm just blowing it out in the inner corner very very pretty nicely pigmented shade here now I'm going in to cut my crease I'm using my revolution cut crease canvas and as you can see, I'm using my usual technique of lining my eye and then looking up so I can see exactly where to cut. But I'm just kind of carving out a bit of a swoop shape today because I kind of knew I wanted a little bit of a wing type look. So this is the cut crease shape for today, you guys. Using a wet wipe just to kind of clean up some of that excess cut crease canvas. Now I'm starting out with this beautiful pink shimmer, spraying my brush a bit. This shade is called Twirl, and I'm just going into the very, very inner portion of my cut crease with that color. Very, very nice. It pops more when you add the dark colors next to it, but it's very, very pretty. Next I'm going into Swirl. It's the darker pink shimmer, and I'm tapping that right next to that light pink. And I'm just kind of dragging it across my lid. I noticed with these shimmers, they show up a bit better when you kind of pat them on and then blend them into the you know shadows that are next to it. So I'm just blending that light pink into that dark pink here. Now I wanted to go into Sugar Plum. This is the beautiful kind of like blue purple shade. Oh, I love this color, you guys. It's so, so pretty. And it really complements these other more pinky tone shades in the palette. So gorgeous. So it did add that depth that I was looking for on this cut crease. And as you can see, I'm just tapping it on that outer corner and dragging it out. So this is the basic eye look. Now I decided to go in with just a basic black eyeliner today and give myself a small wing. Not anything too crazy. If you really wanted to amp it up, you know, you could use a purple liner or a pink liner, but I'm just using black today. Now moving on to the face, I'm using my e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. Love this primer, you guys. And for foundation, going in with my Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Haven't used this in a while, so I'm just going in with a brush and, you know, using that to blend out my foundation today. This is one of my favorite foundations, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I really, really like it. For concealer, I'm using my J.Cat Stay Assurance Concealer. This is a nice drugstore concealer, you guys. I will say that, it is very nice. I've been using it for quite a while now just to kind of get a true feel of it, and I actually really like it. I mean, it's not my favorite. <laughs> it hasn't knocked Juvia's out of its place but it's definitely a very, very good drugstore concealer if you're looking for something affordable with great coverage. And it blends out very easily also, I might add. Now to set this concealer in place, I'm using my Becca Hydra Mist Powder, and I decided to just go in with one of my larger Juvia's Place pointed brushes today instead of using my sponge. So that's what I'm using to gently tap the powder in my highlighted areas. And for the rest of my face, I'm powdering with my J-Cat Aquasurance. 
This is the powder foundation and I'm using the shade Espresso today. And I will be listing all of the products in the um, description box just in case you're curious as far as all of the products I'm putting on my face. For bronzer today, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury. This is a brand new gift <laughs> that I got from my girlfriend, Lily. And I'm just going in with a smaller, fluffy type brush just to kind of get a feel for this bronzer. See how pigmented it is, see how it looks on my skin tone, and how it blends out. And I must say, this bronzer is very, very nice. I mean, it is bomb. It blends out very nicely. As you can see, it's definitely bronzing me up. I really, really like it. Very, very nice. Now for blush, I'm trying out this Nika K Very Berry Blush Quad. And as you can see, there are some shimmery type blushes in here. Um, they're all beautiful, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. I decided to go in with a darker, you know, kind of silky or shimmery type blush today. Instead of using a highlight, I'm just using this blush for my highlight and my blush today. And you can definitely see that glow. So I'm just kind of applying that blush. I really wanted you guys to see the color and the shimmer. So I kind of went a little ham. No biggie though. I just kind of buffed it out with my powder brush so it wouldn't be too, too harsh. Now I'm going in with one of my ColourPop colored liners. This one is the shade Piggy Bank, I believe. Beautiful purple shade. And it goes really nicely with this eye look. Now I'm going back into the palette. I wanted to add a little bit more color to my lower lash line. So I'm taking that matte pink shade Carnival and placing that on the inner portion. And I'm also going back into Sugar Plum and I'm dragging that on my lower lash line but on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Just kind of gently connecting it to that pink. Very bold, vivid colors in this palette. Now for my inner corner, I'm going into the shade Sugar, and I am spraying my brush a bit so it will pop and I won't have too much fallout. As you can see, that shade is very bright. <laughs> very beautiful, nice shimmery inner corner pop. I really, really like that. For lashes, I'm using some Cara Beauty Fabu Lashes in the shade, I'm sorry, in the shade, in the style A11. And this is what they look like. And for my lower lashes, I'm using my Essence Super Curl. I went kind of ham with my lower lashes today. I really wanted them to be pronounced for this eye look with it being so bold. So you, as you can see, I did add quite a bit of mascara to my lower lashes today. Now for my lips, I went ham, you guys. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I used <laughs> a few different lip products and I will list them in the description box below. Setting everything with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this is the look, you guys. I really like it. It is bold, it's different, it's vibrant, but I feel like it is a true reflection of the colors in this palette and what you can do to kind of combine them all together if you want. So hopefully you enjoyed watching me create this look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!